Hi, I'm Nick Moore, and in this short video we're going to introduce you to four of Kramer's new HD Base T distribution amplifiers. One of the options for sending 4K over long distance is to use HD Base T. But what happens if you want to send HD Base T signal to more than one display? Kramer has a range of distribution amplifiers that allow you to do this, and we're going to look at those now. We have the VM4HDT, the VM2DT, and the VM212DT, and its bigger cousin, the VM214DT. So let's have a look at the VM2DT. Now this product takes one HD base T input and splits it to two HD base T outputs. The dip switches are used to control IR and RS232 command behavior. And finally, we have the 5 volt DC input. Whilst the VM2DT has an HD base T input, the VM4HDT has an HDMI input and four HD base T outputs. It also has bidirectional IR and RS232. And the setup is controlled by the dip switches here. Finally, we have a 5 volt DC input. The two 1U units combine features from both of the smaller units and add additional features. The VM212DT and the VM214DT allow you to switch between an HDMI and an HD base T input. You can make the switch via front panel command, via RS232, or via Ethernet, either by direct commands or the built-in web pages. The VM212DT can also embed RS232 or IR commands onto the HDMI input and output over its HD base T ports. Via the web pages, you can determine which control method goes to which or all outputs. The Ethernet port is for control of the VM214DT or 212DT only and cannot be tunneled over the HD base T outputs. Both units can de embed analog stereo audio for local monitoring or to send to a power amplifier, and volume can be controlled either by the front panel or again via RS232 commands or by the built in web pages. These four units are all now available. For more information on Kramer's range of HD based T products, please visit our website. Thank you for watching.